the cast of best friends in the world senior year. And this is the recap of season one. Yeah. So the season begins with Olive, a young bubbly student. A new girl arrives in school and steals the attention of her friends, which causes Olive to be jealous. And BTW, sucking up to the new girl regardless of her problems, isn't dignified. And she steals to frame Maria up. Someone reported me for stealing. I don't know why. I didn't steal. And she's given a suspension in school. With her own conscience and her mom asking her about it, Olive confesses to her crime. It was me, Maria. I took the money, I framed you for it, and I'm sorry. Olive deals with the consequences of her suspension and Grace, a new student, bullies her. So her friends try to protect her from the truth by lying to her about the cyberbullying that was going on in school. And as the story goes on, we see the art class students argue about cleanliness and domestic duties the boys think that domestics are for girls alone but mr ben educates them that domestics are for everyone because of this argument it causes mr ben to switch seats in class and esther discovers that her new seat mate has <laughs> body odor <laughs> which she complains to her friend olive about and olive tells her that in order to help julius she has to be nice to him be kind Esther, be kind. <laughs> Olive discovers that she has a crush on her new seatmate, David. She yes. discovers that he's the leader of a band, which increases her feelings for him. She decides to um, approach him about her feelings, but she overhears him saying that she is not his type. She's totally not my type. She might hear you. She's so weird and awkward. <laughs> But with the help of her friends, she recovers from the heartbreak. And so we move on to the next so part of the sorry, show. Sorry, sorry. We introduce Mr. Jack, the class's new English teacher, who at first comes off as professional, kind, caring, handsome. attentive, handsome. Sweet. All the girls are like, ooh, he's so handsome. <laughs> Except for Olive, because you know she's smart. But anyway, he's actually a creep, a pedophile. Yeah, Weirdo, a milk 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 person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's interested in young children. Child abuse. And so Grace, who is, you know, she has experienced life. She takes notes of this first. But her friends don't believe her because you know Mr. Jack is lovable. Yeah. They don't believe her, so she enlists the help of Esther and Olive, who despite their whole feud that happened, decide to help her. And that's Shows us more of Grace's life because Mr. Jack is involved with Grace's childhood friend, Prissy. And that's when we meet Prissy for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so all that happens, we involve the authorities, aka Principal Peters, and Mr. Jack is caught and thrown away into some place like that. Yeah. The end of Mr. Jack. <laughs> and then we move on into happier times, Christmas, festivities, Christmas parties. <laughs> Christmas party for the whole school. And in that episode, you would think that, oh, just good vibes. Wrong. Esther and Olive fight. Huge mm. fight. Because mm. Esther was secretly dealing, I don't know why it was a secret, don't to tell me, but she was secretly <laughs> dealing with body insecurities. I'm not beautiful. There I said it. Then what? So while Olive is excited and prepping, you know, to go all out, do her hair and makeup, Esther is like, no, we don't need to, you know, go all out, just wear, you know, nice dress, it doesn't really matter. And Olive's like, it matters, because it's our last SS2 party. Yes. Adam, being the middleman, tries to help, but he only makes matters worse. Yes. And then because of their fight, Esther almost puts Olive in trouble during exams. But it's all in the past. <laughs> so, Esther has a heart to heart with Adam and realizes that all body shapes, sizes, and colors are beautiful, beautiful. and she has no reason to beautiful. feel insecure about herself because she's stunning. Right here. And so they go to the party and they have 
fun. What else? Romance blooms during the party between Mr. Ben and Nurse Rose. Ooh, things are going down. <laughs> and then Adam dances with Maria. Well, Maria dances by herself. But you know, <laughs> David asks Olive to perform, and that's how the music thing begins in Best Friends in the World. Put up the lights and hang the mistletoe. And then we move on to the next part of the show where they introduce new characters. Felix, who is Mr. Ben's longtime friend. We meet Adam's parents for the first time. And they also introduce new villains, Udwag George and Akan George, brother and sister in SS3, who make it their job to terrorize the whole SS2, our class. We do have George throws a party and Grace, you know, because she likes to go out and boogie party, and party. party. She goes to the party. And when she goes to the party, no, you went to she the party is party. harassed oh, by Akan George because he's a pervert. And she starts to throw fists, you know, finna catch these hands. She starts to throw fists and David, who's at the party, calls Adam, but Adam can't make it. So Olive shows up <laughs> to the rescue. Olive shows up and she helps uh, Grace uh, sort out the issue. But then Udwak throws them out of the party because bad belly. Because twat. She throws them out of the party, but then that makes Olive her new target for the rest of the show because you know I've spoiled her plans. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the ten. For the rest of the ten. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> now this new villain mm -hmm. named Udwag George mm -hmm. stole Maria's diary. The red, 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 red things that she wasn't supposed to see. Ooh. And what was the outcome of that? She released an article of our dear Grace Johnson ah. in memory. And what was the, the heading wanna of the article again? Grace wanna Johnson, be wanna be queen, queen, wanted to. Party. So, you know, Grace was devastated, she was down bad, yeah. but Adam, Oliver, and Esther had to help her by trying to take Udwak George down, and it became, you know, it just became very messy. Then before you know, Udwak George decided to pick up Olive, yeah. attack yeah. Olive, which was the same information she got from Maria's diary, this Kelish child. Why would you give her your diary? <laughs> now, she now saw that. Oh, why did you write that? We'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. But she wrote in the diary that Adam has eyes for Olive. And, and he's so blind. He's so blind. Because so Udwag George now wrote a song. Um, embarrassing Olive and Adam yeah, at Felix Lounge. For her. Yeah, that was mm. even that was the opening of Felix Lounge. That was the yeah. same episode yeah, they yeah. did the opening of Felix really Lounge. Fun. So she told David to play, and you played. Why did you play? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that later too. So she played. It was, it was embarrassing, and they went out. And Adam had to use that opportunity. What was he thinking? Yeah. To confess his feelings for Olive. <laughs> the great confession scene, Love episode the, ten. Yeah. yeah. That's what I so, so Olive was shook. I was uh, blinking and she was, she didn't expect it. It was new, everything was new to her. From then she was, our whole perspective of Adam changed. And she, started, she started seeing Adam in a new light. Shine, so halo. Fun, yeah. So Adam started being lovey-dovey with Olive and Olive was, you know, trying to process this new feeling, what's going on, oh my God, is he the one for me? Is he not the one for me? Are we the ones for each other? Let's take our time. What? We don't even know. This point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on, um, we discovered that Robert, Robert, I mean, Robert, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Moving on, we discovered that Robert, Adam's friend, was experiencing some sort of abuse in his house. Robert tried hiding it mm -hmm. and hiding, but eventually shy. He had to open up. And then Olive and Grace took it upon themselves to take down the great Van Judge. <laughs> Let's go, girls. What are you all looking at? <laughs> Meanwhile, Ma Maria, Mama. Is <laughs> She was so desperate mm. for attention. So she was so desperate for attention, mm -hmm. and her friends were not giving it to her. Mm -hmm. And then she decided mm -hmm. to kill herself. <laughs> she decided to kill herself. She decided to 
herself. You know, considering that Maria is a very serious student, she attends classes, never misses her classes. Her friends realize that. Oh wait. Maria doesn't come to school anymore. Let's go check. Let's go check on her. Mm -hmm. And then, lo and behold, no, they, saw, saw they saw that she was almost dead. <laughs> anyway, they, you know, as good friends now, they comforted her and then, you know, stood by her, helped her come out of that loneliness and depression. depression. We also <coughs> see more of, um, you know, Adam's family, how his parents were with him and the rest. Then we see this, this awesome, mm. this awesome twins. Morning twins. Stinky face. Iris and Ivy as Stinky super. face. Stinky, stinky face. face. They decided <laughs> to just, you know, mm -hmm. On me. this beloved Olive, girl. they bullied her because of she. Started mm -hmm. Because of she. Because of she. <laughs> <laughs> they bullied her because her period started in class, and then Adam, as always, comes to her rescue and you know her defense. Sorry. And then we see the class boys trying to downplay menstruation, and of course, again, Adam comes to our rescue and the debates. The debates. Oh, the debate. The debate. The one that the art and science students actually did a, you guys had a belt on. That Grace fucked up. Mess. Then you guys lost. Mess, mess, mess. Mess, mess. Okay, and then you guys lost. That led to the science students forming their own midnight club. Okay. What game to be playing behind scenes? <coughs> and there, still in the whole spirit of losing and winning, mm. Iris lost to. Uh, great Olive Lynn. Mm. Yes. That led to her kissing the almighty Johnny Big Lips. Big Lips. She and her demonic twin sister had to give a sweet kiss. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> and that was officially the first kiss. Ever yeah. yeah. More to come. More to come. More to come. Now it moves us to the Angel's competition. Uh, this is where Esther and Olive broke their legs, broke their spinal cord, <laughs> practicing day and night, pounding, staying up all night, learning new dance step, but they didn't still win. <laughs> but let me tell you a shocking story now. Olive and David came together. Let us sing together. Let us do this together in the competition. Then the demonic spirit from somewhere, Grace. Just came in. I was spoiled. Just came in and then spoiled the whole thing. She doesn't have a good voice, but she no. wants to sing. And of all the things that was going on, people were looking for their partners, looking for what to do. Maria was busy admiring these guys. And then the she actually needed. Oh, and the cheek. And the cheek. She perk. Second perk. She perk. <laughs> now we move on to the lovely boy who comes on set. No. Ooh. There comes Romeo. Romeo was being quite sus. Okay. What is this boy doing around me? Because I've never talked before. And you can't even pronounce my name right. It's Olive, for God's sake, not Olivia. Yeah. With all this happening, we went for a party, a pool party. That was the point where Maria came, Maria came to hug Adam, and Adam was like, no. Step behind me, you demon say. <laughs> and shake. Can I add something? Yes? She just came to tell him that she doesn't regret kissing him. I mean, it's not bad. Bonds are passions for you. After even saying it, after even saying it, now don't sit down somehow. While the whole hug and shake was going on, Olive was thrown into the deep blue pool. <laughs> where the almighty Aqua Romeo okay. jumped in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and pulled her out from the water. <laughs> Dropped her before that panel. Grace, the demonic winch, went ahead and betrayed her good friends. Such a tragic, <laughs> tragic, how, how tragic. Did how did she do it? Watch the Watch episode your and you see it. Do you have anything to say about yourself, sir? I don't. go ahead, sir. No, after this drama. Okay. <laughs> so there came the introduction of Archie. Oh, Archie. With respect, please. This mm -hmm. was the first introduction of Archie. Bomb. Archie. No, no, not bomb. Archie would. Archie would. Oh yes, sir. Archie would. Yeah, and this was actually the first time 
when he had the opportunity to talk to Esther. Aww. Admiring her, mm. you know, confessing things. Mm. Then we had the drunk boys invading Felix Lamb. Dun 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 dun. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't we took the money and now you're dead. Oh, 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 oh. You're dead, man. Not me, not me. You took the stash. Now you owe me money. You're dead. You're dead, man. And that was when Romeo, Romeo grabbed all his hand. And we're twinkling, 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 twinkling. My heart beats double time. That's all we know. Yeah. <laughs> After that, Olive started investigating poor Romeo. Literally. Poor Romeo. Poor Romeo. Literally. <laughs> But what actually happened there? Okay, Romeo was being nice, truthful and everything yeah, and then cool. all of a sudden she went to do the FBI job to do so much yeah. detecting on, on, yeah, on Romeo's she, she poor really, little life. She really needed yeah. to know... Yeah. But you know it didn't end there. Man. Romeo actually put her in her place. Told her we cannot bow down and worship you, great Olive Lynn. Mm. We are not always bow down and worship you, the great Olive Lynn. That's not what I... After Olive's investigation, mm -hmm. the great Romeo was attacked in the house park. He was given the beating of his life. And then moving on to episode 18, we have the arrival of Okwe and Ola. Ola. There comes Okwe and Ola, and there and goes Grace. Oh. Oh. I'm leaving. So after the departure of Grace, that's mm. a memory. Esther caught Archie hugging some random girl. We found out that Olive shaves her hair. <laughs> we had our great Adam forming an unlikely alliance with the traitor Romeo in exposing the drug boys, threatening to post a video of them if they don't stop the drug activity going on in school. The team went back to Olive's house to play a game called Truth or Dare, where Romeo confesses his feelings for Olive. And then moving on, Esther is giving a dare to kiss the first person she sees in school the next day. Which happened to be me, Ooh, Archie. You kissed. All right. So after Esther kissed Archie, Miss Olive Lane confessed her feeling to Adam Andrews, which is the most famous thing you guys have seen on TikTok, Instagram, and what have you. I like, I like you. you. Will he die? Mm -hmm. I like you too. You also know what I, I know. know. Oh, I mean, you're, you're the, the one, one I like. <laughs> What? I like you. I like you too. <laughs> no. I mean, you are the one I like. After the confession, back in school, Udwak overheard um, Principal Peters and Big Justice discussing about a certain student in school that got pregnant and she takes it upon herself, mm -hmm. as usual, to publish the news which made the student a victim of bullying in school. But then our great Olive Lane and Adam Andrews comes to our rescue and they try to reason with the students and ask them to put themselves in our shoes. And that was how the issue came to an end. <laughs> Moving on to Romeo's <laughs> fights with um, Iris and Ivy over oh. Iris's broken phone. Mm -hmm and she asked him to repair her phone or get her a new one, which in Romeo's situation wasn't possible. Because he broke. This issue made the team fight Iris, Ivy, Olive, Esther, and Romeo. Me too, And yeah, and Adam. <laughs> Olive got to realize that um, Romeo became her friend because Iris and Ivy asked him to, not because yeah. he did it. Of out of free will. Out of free will. <laughs> Iris and Ivy sent Romeo forward. Yeah. Go and deceive poor and little Olive. You went and failed. And, and, and I went. Failed. I was to oh kill, but I went and I lost. While fighting, Big Justice came huh. and caught them and then asked them to go <laughs> and wash toilets. Hey, After the sweet toilet cleaning situation. Sweet. sweet. Yes. <laughs> Emma returns. Oh, Emma, we love you. She comes and tries to talk to Olive's mom. Emma convinces Mrs. Lane to allow these young teenagers do their thing. They finally get to go on a date. 
um, Romeo tries to talk to Iris to be friendly, be nice to people, and that's where she becomes creepily nice to Olive Lane and her people. Good luck with your exams today. Break your leg. We move on to exam time where Esther cheats because she did not trust herself to read and understand. I, would do that. I, remember. I, know, I remember what she read. Okay, now I'm passing this mic to someone that will complete this whole story. Mm. Thank you as you listen to him. Oh. So, guys, uh -huh. sit up, sit up, guys. Permission. Oh. 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 Actually, heard that Esther cheated. He saw. He saw. Oh, he saw you right in class that day. Me? No, I skipped class, so I went for his house. So he was very mad, and she had to like explain why she did it. But the guy was still very mad. On his birthday, <laughs> her friends surprised her, and she was so happy. Oh my God, the love messages. <laughs> All right. Sarah was there. Too. Sarah, who's oh, Sarah? <laughs> Where she had to like talk about how her father died with Romeo. Yeah. How did your father die? He drowned. I know. How? Where? Why? It was a car accident, actually. So and there you met your love. Yes. Yes. I met her playing, and I was like, kind of. Love. Wow, I was like, this girl is good, fam. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this goes. Ew! This young lady was trying to kiss this young man in a supermarket, <laughs> which she doesn't know that this young man is a bad boy. So sad. Sorry. After being forced by Olive and Adam, she finally retook her exams and she passed with flying colors. Esther, you're coming to us, Esther! Young man went to steal money. Because, Him and Collins because. because he wanted to help his sister that was in the hospital. Yes. He couldn't ask us for help. No, no, not me. I mean, <laughs> Olive, Adam, and Esther, Iris. Henry kind of reported him to Adam. Olive, Esther, and Adam, which came in and like stopped him from stealing. And he was very mad about that. But he later explained to them that it was for his sister, Cece. David had uh, he was playing at Felix Lounge when Anna came in. He noticed Anna. He gathered up courage to go and speak to her mm -hmm. after being so stupid the first time. <laughs> we went for the graduation party, which we were not supposed to be there. We crashed the party. You know, you have to live on the wild side every now and then. Superman Adam Romeo. and Romeo with Collins and a few other boys caught Akan George. Yeah. yeah, and we brought him to Mr. Ben. Woodwork was pissed. She left the party. Because Woodwork tried to. Uh steal everybody and like make the seniors feel un underappreciated by the school mm -hmm. but Emma now gave them a pep talk and was like we're doing all this for you guys what's your problem appreciate appreciate why <laughs> <laughs> while everyone was dancing um Romy was all alone that's when Iris came in and they had this cute moment together and they went to the hospital to visit Cece and Romeo so they dropped the money and other gifts which made Romeo emotional and there was an anonymous donor. Somebody gave money. Who? You need to watch and find out who gave the money. Because I won't tell you that. It's funny, it's dramatic, it's epic, it's emotional. When you watch the show, you will feel like you've made brand new friends. Because, I mean, we are the best friends in the world, so... That concludes our recap. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know you did. Make sure you subscribe and watch out for new interesting episodes coming up. Best friends in the world senior year. Ooh. And turn on post notifications. Mm -hmm. Do not forget, that's very important. Bye! Bye. Bye.